the Hollywood Hills home of Roland Orzabal, co-founder of Tears for Fears, certainly is something to shout about. The state boasts colorful interiors and a lush Nichols Canyon setting. For today's video exclusive to our TTP members, we will be talking more about the main songwriter and joint vocalist of Tears for Fears, Roland Orzabal, and his Los Angeles home. That is now on sale in the market. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. After almost 20 years, the musician has put gorgeously remodeled Los Angeles home on the market for $3,950,000. The main songwriter and joint vocalist of the band, Peter Murphy, purchased the 4,266 square foot abode in 2003 for $1,675,000. Over the years, he has listed the property for rent for as much as $12,900 per month. This two-story home has a contemporary vibe with walls of glass wrapping around the living space on both floors. The kitchen was recently remodeled with custom cabinetry and sits between the dining room and family room. The main level includes a widowed office and a bedroom suite. At the top of the circular staircase is a large, loaf-style movie room with an adjacent solarium equipped as a gym. This is a dream home you have been waiting for. You will find three additional bedrooms and five bathrooms total, plus a large outdoor space that's as sumptuous as the indoor space, with its sleek lounge area built right into the terrace hillside. The outdoor space is as sumptuous as the indoor space, with its sparkling pool and cozy fire pit. And you will love the native California foliage and mature trees, they provide privacy while also making your home feel like it belongs to nature. When you're looking for a luxury home in Los Angeles, you don't always have to look far. Surprisingly enough, there's no music studio here, but the Lux residence is just a quick drive to some of the best recording studios in the world, such as Capitol Records. Hollywood and the Sunset Strip are also nearby, and conveniently, the house is located just 3 miles away from the Los Angeles residence of Tears for Fears co-founder and Orzabal's bandmate Kurt Smith. Orzabal, 61, who grew up in England, met Smith when they were both in their early teens. They eventually formed Tears for Fears and launched their debut album in 1983. The band's biggest hits include Shout, Everybody Wants to Rule the World and Head Over Heels. With that, let us learn more about the owner. Roland Orzabal is an English musician, singer-songwriter, record producer, and author. He is best known as a co-founder of Tears for Fears, of which he is the main songwriter and joint vocalist. Orzabal has been the only constant member of the band, having appeared on every Tears for Fear studio album. He has also achieved success as a producer of artists such as Oleda Adams. In 2014, Orzabal published his first novel, a romantic comedy called The Rise and Fall of Little Martin. Orzabal was born in Portsmouth, Hampshire, and he was initially raised in nearby heaven. Orzabal's father, George Orzabal de la Quintana, was of Argentinian and Spanish roots and was often so ill that he was rarely seen by his children. Orzabal began writing songs when he was 7 years old. The family later moved to Bath where he attended Culver Hay School, now Bath Community Academy, and became a member of the Zenith Youth Theatre Company. Orzabal and Smith were friends in their early teens and met when they both attended the Bath College of Art and Design. Orzabal was the one who suggested they form a band and he and Smith formed Graduate, an early mod music outfit that included three other members. The group's debut album, Acting My Age, was released in 1979 to mixed reviews and moderate success. Following the album's release, Graduate disbanded. Orzabal and Smith briefly joined Neon before forming Tears for Fears, a new wave or synth-pop band directly inspired by the writings of American psychologist Arthur Jano. In Tears for Fears' early years, Orzabal was the main songwriter of the group. His lyrics are often emotional or autobiographical in nature. The Hurting was the first album by Tears for Fears released in 1983. It reached number one on the UK album chart and remained in that position for four weeks. The album also reached number two on Billboard's top album chart. The Hurting spawned four singles, 
Head Over Heels, Change, Mad World, and Everybody Wants to Rule the World. Songs from the Big Chair was the second studio album by Tears for Fears and was released in 1985. It reached number one on Billboard's top album chart and went multi-platinum in both the UK and US. Two singles were released from this album, Shout and Everybody Wants to Rule the World. In the decades since their formation, Tears for Fears have been known for a distinct sound that has drawn comparison to the Beatles, David Bowie, and Queen. The band was formed in 1981 by Roland Orzabal and Kurt Smith. In 1989, they released their third album, The Seeds of Love. This album is notable for including Pale Shelter, which was written by Orzabal and Smith about their breakup. After the release of this album, Roland Orzabal left Tears for Fears to pursue a solo career under the name Loose Ends. He released three albums as Loose Ends before going on hiatus in 1992 to focus on his solo career. Kurt Smith continued recording under the Tears for Fears name with Orzabal as well as releasing solo material under his own name. In 2004, he released Everybody Loves a Happy Ending under Tears for Fears name. In 2001, Orzabal released his first solo album, Tomcat Screaming Outside. The album was a departure from what he'd done with Rose and The Loss, but fans were still excited to hear him sing again. He also released a live DVD called The Orzabal Show Live in Concert in 2002 and a Greatest Hits collection called Greatest Hits in 2003. As a songwriter, Orzabal is a three-time Ivor Novella Award winner. His first award was in 1986 for Songwriter of the Year, following the release of Tears for Fear's second album, Songs from the Big Chair. Four years later, he was awarded Best Contemporary Song with Shout, which was released on their 1989 album, The Seeds of Love. The following year, he won Best Contemporary Song with The Trouble with Love Is, which appeared on their album, Love Hurts. The 1990s saw him receive two more Ivor Novello Awards, Best Contemporary Songs for Don't Walk Away from the Graveyard and Best Contemporary Song for Little Lies from Depeche Mode's Violator both in 1990. In 1999, Orzabal co-produced Icelandic singer-songwriter Emiliana Turini's album Love in the Time of Science along with Tears for Fears associate Alan Griffiths. The pair also wrote two tracks for the album. In addition to Orzabal's work on Torini's album, he continued to write songs for Tears for Fears, 1999 release, Everybody Loves a Happy Ending. He also contributed to other projects from this time period, including compositions for the album Sympathy by former Tears for Fears member Roland Orzabal, Orzabal's brother, as well as contributions to albums by Ariana Grande and Tricky. Orzabal's first hit single was Tears for Fears, Mad World. The song was written and recorded by Orzabal with Michael Andrews and Gary Jules, who later went on to make the iconic film Donnie Darko in 2001. Their version of the song became the Christmas number one single in 2003, eventually selling more than 3 million copies worldwide. In 2004, Orzabal won his second Ivor Novello Award, for best-selling UK single of 2003 for writing Mad World. He was also awarded an Ivor Novello Award for Outstanding Song Collection in 2021 for Mad World with Kurt Smith. Orzabal has been writing since he was a teenager, but it was not until 2014 that he published his first novel, Sex, Drugs, and Opera. The book tells the story of Solomon Capri, a middle-aged pop star who is semi-retired and about to embark on his reality show, Pop Star to Opera Star. He sees the show as a way to revitalize his career and his marriage, which has been suffering from years of neglect. Orzabal says the idea for sex, drugs, and opera came from his own experiences with reality TV. He was approached by ITV himself while he was doing an interview for the show in the early 2000s, but did not participate. In 1982, Orzabal married Caroline Johnston, whom he had been dating since his teenage years. She sang the child vocal on the Tears for Fear song, Suffer the Children, from the band's debut album, The Hurting, and also drew the hands cover artwork for the 1983 re-release of Pale Shelter. Their son, Luke Orzabal, is currently a member of the Vamps. 
or Isabel's wife Caroline Johnston died in July 27, age 62, after suffering from alcoholism-related dementia and cirrhosis, which came about after her menopause led to depression. Her death led the band to cancel its remaining tour dates that year. In April 2022, Orzabal married Emily Rath, a photographer and writer. There you have our TTP video for today. Now, what do you think about the mansion? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell and like this video. If you think we have delivered value, please share this video with one person. Just one share is enough for us for you to show your appreciation for the commitment and hard work we all put together in creating this video that teaches us and helps you on your mission of building your own fortune. And you don't know that one share could go a long way. And keep in mind that no matter how many times you're going to watch this video, you won't see any results unless you take action. Goodbye and see you at the next one.